Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today, we're going to be having a little bit of fun out here on the range with ping pong balls. Uh, table tennis, whatever you call it. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. Y'all know that's my favorite place to shop. Now, keep in mind, these things are super lightweight. And they're just some kind of a uh, basic little plastic. And what I would like to see is how far we can launch these with different calibers. I'm just going to set one up here one at a time, shoot it point blank, and just see how far it goes. Uh, let me show you all the calibers and the handguns we have for this. And what we're going to be shooting is, first off, some arms core. This is 40 grain, standard velocity, uh, solid point. We'll be using our Smith. Model 622. Yeah, I like this thing. It's a lot of fun. Uh, next up, I've got some just some uh, Toll Ammo, Tula, however you pronounce it. 115 grain, full metal jacket stuff. So just what I call good basic cheap range ammo. And we'll be using our Remington RP9 to sling that one. And then we're going to step it up to uh, 40 cal. Uh, got some Winchester. 155 grain. Silver tip. Jacketed hollow point. Now guys, that is one mean little 40 right there. That should send that thing flying. And we're going to be using our Rock Island 1911 to sling it. Then next up, I've got just uh, some basic blazer. 230 grain full metal jacket, 45 ACP. Yep, just good range ammo. Oh, excuse the sniffles. It's cold out here and this wind is just not nice at all. Uh, for that, we're going to be using our Remington RP45, my daily carry. And last but not least, I've got some Underwood hard cat. Now, they're hollering uh, 1250 feet per second on this stuff. Now, this is some wicked, wicked ammo. Uh, thank you all for sending that in. Uh, that's much appreciated. As you all know, when you send in ammo, uh, it really does help the channel, and I appreciate that. And, of course, we'll be using a Rock Island to sling that one. Alright guys, well let me get this all set up. Like I say, I'll uh, get these set up here. I think they'll just set right here. Hopefully the wind won't blow them away. And we can get some distance on them. So if you want to, throw down in the comments what you think. Which one will go the furthest. Uh, which one just won't do much at all. This will be quite interesting. Never done this before. Alright, let's grab some ears right quick. That wind out here is just, uh, we've got a chill to it. Alright, first up is our 22. I have our ping pong ball set. Alright. Y'all throw down your predictions and let's see what's what. The wind's going to blow it away. That's what's what. I'm going to do this, this sort of quick, I do believe. Is that aggravating or what? Stay. Stay. Sort of had some height to it. As far as distance, 
didn't think it done so great. I'll tell you what, let's uh, we'll just mark them and shoot them off, and then we'll run out there and check our distances. Alright, so next up, 9 millimeter. They'll sit in there. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a uh, nine windy day to do this one. All right, 115 grain. You stay. a little bit of distance to it. We had a really cool curve going on there. That was neat. Alright, now next up will be our 40. Oh, I don't think we're going to get Things to go very far considering the light weight and the wind. That nine millimeter put that thing out there pretty good. All right. Stay. All right. Now for the forty. Yeah, that one had a real good curve to it as well. All right, now for a 45. These are actually fun to shoot. Of course, 45 is a slower bullet, so we're not real sure what it's going to do. Get that hot round out of there. Alright, come on, 45. Get that angle just right, too. A lot of height, but not a whole lot of distance on that. Ah, get in there. Get right there. That's why I hit a little bit of that. Shot just a shade low. I uh, cheated myself on that 45, didn't I? All right. Now for this hard cast 10 millimeter. This should be a pretty hot round. I'm hoping they to send this thing flying. No doubt, no doubt. Well, that was fun. Let's go out here and just see 
what our distances are on them. Put my hood on, keep some of that wind off of me. Alright, first up is our 22. I do believe. Yes, 22. Ah, pull the way right through it. This is about. Let me see the from where we stand and shoot to these orange targets is 30 feet. So this right here we're going to call the 22 10 feet. Set it up there. And the next was our nine millimeter. And I believe that this is it right here. Oh yeah, got it right in the nine. Well, it went right through, didn't it? And we're pretty close here. So we're going to call that probably 20, 22, 23 feet. Yeah, no doubt. I'm going to stick that one in my pocket. The next was the 40. And I can see it over here. There it is, 40, right through it, and it landed right here, which I'm going to say that's about 20, 27, 26, 27 feet. Yeah, that thing slung out pretty good. And after that was a 45. Yeah, it curved to the right a whole lot. It was just, I got a bad shot on that thing. 45. And it was lucky to make it. Let's see. I'm going to rough guess to make this one about 15 feet. And then we saved the best for the last, or 10 millimeter. And as you see where I picked this thing up, we are right here at the targets. I did blow the 10 about off of there, didn't it? Look at that. So that 10 millimeter, 30 feet. So 10 millimeter is a winner on the how far will a ping pong ball go. And there we have it. And this particular test, that hard cast 10 millimeter, put that ping pong ball out there at 10 yards. That's 30 feet. I mean, a couple of others done pretty good, but that 10 millimeter really sent it flying. And like I said, lightweight as you are, that's pretty amazing that it done it that way. Well, guys, now that was a fun one to shoot. Uh, I did enjoy it. I hope y'all enjoyed watching it. If you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it very much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.